It's Chris from Chris and Acrylic Pouring and we're based in the UK. Hello, it's all about blues today. I'm doing a seascape, another seascape I know, but I love them. So lovely sea going from light sea to dark sea, then on a horizon line with white and then blue sky, going from light sky, medium sky to dark sky. It's on a 30 by 80 centimetre canvas and it's just going to be all lovely blues. I'm going to be using white and my usual white, I always use titanium white, but it's usually a Pepio or a De La Rowney, um brand. And I wanted to try the Amsterdam titanium white because people use it and it gives cells and lacing and I want to see what's going to happen in the sky if I use it. So I may get a really swishy sky or it may just act normally, but I wanted to try it out and see. These are the colours that I've used for the painting. They're all basically shades of blue, so they're all going to sit very harmoniously together. The Prussian blue is going to give some darkness and the titanium white the lightness. I only use the metallic and the iridescent colours in the sea part of the painting. My Prussian blue, which was bringing darkness to the piece, was way too thick. I hadn't thinned it enough, so it really sunk a lot, but I didn't mind, it almost brought a translucent effect to the painting. Actually, you can have to be about there. Oh, that was a splurger. Come on, concentrate. That's better. Good, 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 good luck, guys. Okay, let's see how this goes. <sighs> blues. Lovely blues. That is just, I love it. Look at that blend there, that's just so beautiful. Gorgeous. That might be a bit, oh no, that's the start, that's fine. Oh, dark sea, but I put that metallic blue in there and that just really sings beautiful. I don't mind, oh, I put a bit of white in there. Contaminated it. <laughs> That's the iridescent blue there. Look at that, it's beautiful. I need to improve the lighting in the studio. You can't see some of these beautiful colours that I'm getting. It's just so beautiful. And as ever, I will go round and do the sides. Okay, look at those cells developing. Oh, there's a bubble there. Let's just get rid of you. You want to go? But that's just the interaction of the paint. There's no silicon. So I'm going to tilt and I'm going to tilt down. Okay, I'm going to try and remind myself to take this nice and slowly. Straight left.
reach these edges. Now if I tilt, I'm going to lose these wonderful sweeps. And I could put a curve in it, but I quite like straight lines, so I'm just going to add some more paint along the bob base here. I'm always keeping an eye on the composition of the painting and one of the lines at the top wasn't reaching all the way across so I just adjusted it. I pulled through the side of a wooden stirrer and just made it reach all the way across. Now's the perfect time to make any adjustments because the paint's still wet and any marks you make will infill. I was ready to give it a wee torch and this was just to get rid of air bubbles. It's looking really beautiful. So this is meant to be the C part, so I don't like, don't mind those random cells there. That's fine. And look, look at the shapes, beautiful. And then you've got the sky going from soft to darkness. When this dries, this section, I've used a lot of metallics and iridescence, so it's going to have that lovely shimmer. And this is just looking calm and also dramatic. I just love these kind of skies, the stripes. It really, really makes me happy. The painting dried so well, it looks really beautiful and the shimmer of the metallics in the sea part is really lovely. Now I didn't get any kind of special effects from using the Amsterdam white, but I had that quite thick and I think it needs to be thinner to get the kind of lacing effects that you see in other pores. But I was really happy with the calmness of the sky. It really is soothing. I did hand paint a couple of lines on the section that's just coming up here, a couple of curves, just to create some more darkness in that part of the pool because the Prussian blue, I had that too thick and it had really sunk. I think the reason I've been creating loads of coastal pools is because I really miss the seaside. I haven't been able to get there as much as I normally would and I do miss it. So that's why I've called this Ocean Dreaming because it's the place I dream of. I've really loved editing this video and I hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as I did creating this piece. If you like to see more paintings, please do subscribe. Do take care and hopefully I'll speak to you soon. Bye.